Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pat Taste Performance. Today's going to be something a little bit different. We are not going to flip. We've been flipping. Today's Easter Sunday. We are not going to fix anything. We are going to work on the house. We have to trim our hedges. We're going to get the yard prepped in lieu of me being able to get gray seed and all the other stuff so I can start my long here vlog with my second year of Kentucky Toll Fescue here in Long Island, New York. So, if you haven't already, please do yourself a favor enter the spring giveaway this is what started it all with us this cobalt 40 volt weed whacker that comes with the battery and the charger okay this has been an absolute phenomenal tool and i know what you're thinking the whole purpose of your channel and everything that you do evolves around gas powered equipment and a little bit of diesel well just because people use it doesn't mean I have to okay today we're going to be doing a video um, on our cobalt 40 volt 24 inch double bladed hedge trimmer this machine is two years old okay and then also you know uh, our town has put a ban on backpack blows oh my god what you do oh, oh lord Dropping bombs. Yeah. Dropping bombs. Stop pointing your smells off on everyone. So anyway, our town banned battery-powered, I'm sorry, gas-powered leaf blowers for the time being because it thinks they spread the coronavirus. So we charge these up. Usually we have one more battery. I have a chainsaw as well. But that's actually, I lent it out. So it has the bigger MAH battery on it. But we're going to be just fine. Oh, let me grab my camera gear. So, obviously we're going to have to clean up our mess. So, we do have the Cobalt 40 volt leaf blower. It's a great tool. I don't think for what we're going to use it for is going to be great. That's why we have extra batteries on deck. It's, it's been a while. Obviously, we only use this once a year. And that's why I like battery. I don't have to worry about drain the gas, that I stabilize it, do I have to start every so often. As a homeowner, I don't need those Red Maxes, those stills, you know, the Husqvarna's that I had on my channel. Absolutely not. So what I've been doing, right, is I have been trimming a hedge one by one. I'm like, wait a minute, that's no fun. So this is what happens. I've been fixing a hedge trimmer. And then I just been one by one I've been trimming the bushes. So and I did this one here too. I did actually this one I did I did one of these and one of these with the Husqvarna. So now the rest we're gonna do with the cobalt 40 volt. It's 24 inch blade. And uh, hopefully she'll come out and she'll videotape me. And then I'm gonna do I'm gonna do all of these and we're gonna see how long the battery is going to last. Now, I am not a professional, okay, so this might take me a little bit longer than others, which is fine, so please keep that in mind. If you are a professional, okay, I'm a fan of the battery power tools in a sense, so if you're thinking about going that way, you just do a couple yards during the week or whatever, swing it, baby. Just go for it. I'm not a big fan of the lawn mowers just yet, but, you know, that's just my honest opinion. If you beg to differ, you know, drop that in the comments. Tell me what you use. This is year two on our equipment. And I'll tell you why I love it. All right? I could use this once or twice. Are you going to video me or no? Yeah. You want me to video you? Yeah. Uh, I didn't know. Well, you're doing nothing all day. You're not going to do this. Now. I'm teasing. Love you. So... This is one I love. As you guys know, I hate two cycle. Even though I work on it, I hate it. And I joke around with other guys, when they do two cycle work, I, to be an obnoxious, pompous, you know what, I say, oh, I can't tell how many times they pulled the cord during the video. So here we are, 24 inch blade. Look how many times I have to crank it. None. So, Here's our battery, 2.5 mAh, and come on baby, come out, 
come out. All right, hold on. There we go, came out. One hand. It has a little thing on here. And you hit the button. Oh, we got a full charge. Fantastic. So, it's a 24 inch dual action blade. Now, it does seem a little bit noisy compared to the other tools. I have no idea if there's an issue with this or not, but it hasn't never given me an issue. I've never even sharpened the blades. They don't even look they need to be sharpened either. Okay, compared to a gas unit, there is no grease system for this. You know, sometimes you see on the Red Maxes and the stills, there's a grease fitting you're supposed to put on here and you put grease in there, you service the gearbox. There is nothing here. And probably after this video, I'm gonna have to look up and see if there is really any kind of maintenance. So let me see, how many bushes do we have to trim? We already did these right here, three. So we have, you gotta go all the way down the hatch. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. This monster here. So I know we joke around that I'm a paint camp Picasso. Maybe I'll try and blend this into this. I don't know. These these bushes aren't even ours. But obviously, if we don't take care of them, that you see what goes on here. But they're good to us. We love them. So I'm going to wait for the missus to come out, and then we'll probably do one or two bushes live, okay, and then we'll throw you on a time lapse, and we're just going to literally go to work. How many batteries do you think we're going to use? So we're just going to do maybe one or two bushes, and then from there we'll go on time lapse. I'm not going to try and do this whole thing in real time. The most important part is, is see how good burst this is. I only use it once or twice a year, put it away, and that's it. There's no need for a gas powered equipment. The other thing is, how many batteries are we going to go So, uh, like I said, let's get her done. I know I should be wearing safety glasses and earplugs, but no noise. amazing just like you seriously it's looking good you're like Edward scissor hands minus the scissor hands next brush
remember, we're trimming a bush and not your mullet. No party in the back. So just even out that top a little bit. Which side? Off of the top. Just give that like, like almost like a little flat top. Right here? Like flat? Like yeah. Flat? Yep. Uh, I think that's Henry. Yeah. What? Thank you. Did you set that up? That's so step back. Not too shabby. Okay. So we're gonna go look at the machine. We did what? Oh, I'm sorry. He's talking about the bushes. Mm. Oh, sorry. So we're gonna pop out the battery. And let's just see, just for, just the, you know, everything is different, right? How many bars are we at? Alright, so we're at three bars. After doing two bushes. Now the cool thing is with the gas... With and we have bushes. Yes, well, the, the, it's there. It's there. It's ours. Whatever. We're a community. Yes, we take care of it. So, if we base upon that, if we lose a bar every two to three bushes. Secondly, we're gonna might have to need two batteries. The cool thing about this is right there is no trigger. You have to you have to you have to hold it. There is no lock. Is this Yeah there is no lock. So it's almost like a dead man so it's compared to a gasoline one it's always running, always producing noise. You really don't want to sound like that person. I know I'm contradicting myself with the backpack loads and all but so you're not really dumping, you know, toxic gases, fumes, whatever back in your face if it's on a windy day. You're just plain devil's advocate for both, that's all. Yeah, that's all. I mean, like I said, like, certain things are there for battery, and certain things are not. I'd love to hear your feedback. I'd love to hear what you use. And, uh, you know, together we learn, together we grow. That is the purpose of your video, of uh, this video. So let's trim the rest of the bushes, and then we'll go with our conclusion from there. enjoying the content of today's video, make sure you are subscribed to Pat Taste Performance on YouTube and also our Instagram handle at Pat Taste Performance. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up button as well as catch us every Saturday morning from 8 to 9 o'clock Eastern Time as we go live together, the Mr. and the Mrs. with all of our YouTube family friends. Later. This is so easy. I think I'm better with that. You like that one? So this is the first time Mrs. Pat Taste Performance is using the hedge trimmer. So this is so easy. No, no pull cord to start. Just hold the trigger. this up second hand. Barely used. I think for like 125 bucks. But 
That's only because we weren't in a rush to get it. We already had our, we paid somebody to trim our bushes. So we used this twice already and it has paid for itself. And even over time, if you want to do, if you're anal, right? If something grows out of whack or whatever, just throw a battery in and just a quick trim and, and you're back to the way it was. Compared to a gas job, you know, you have to crank it, you have to start it, put fresh fuel in it. You know, this for the most part, is, is very good to go. Ah, you're going on the other side, you're going to switch it up? Gotta fully trim the whole bush, make sure it's even. Oh, okay, you can't trim my bushes are even. Her being a school teacher and whatever, more cautious, more careful, she has the proper PPE on per se. I just wing it. So I don't know whose technique is right, right? If you guys see her, she's having the back facing out and I'm always having, see how she has the battery facing in? I always have it the other way. Who is right, who is wrong? Who knows, we're not professionals. We just know that it's trimming the bushes. Potato, potato. Okay, so how do you like it? I like it. A lot easier than you thought? It is, it's a nice little arm workout. Okay, so. You can get a little squatting involved. I do like how as I'm maneuvering it around the bush, I can change where my hand grip is. So as you saw, when I had the blade turned at certain points, I had my thumb engaged mm -hmm. with the handle and the start. When I turned the machine, I could then use my pointer mm -hmm. and engage and start. And now how do you feel about the weight of the... Do you see yourself getting tired using that for a couple of hours? Or you think a couple um, of bushes and you could be honest. I'm not used to quite honestly lifting equipment. Like this? Okay. Um, but how do you so, feel after the first bush? But honestly, I can see myself doing a couple, taking a little break. I mean, mm -hmm. we have a ton of bushes. Um, so I would probably do a couple and then um, do a couple more after like, a tiny little break. Mostly because I could see myself wanting to just plow through them and then you're missing precision because then you're tiring out. Mm -hmm. And I am a little bit more of a perfectionist where I'd want to like mm -hmm. take a little break and go back and do a better job. So. so at the end of the video, we also have a Husqvarna, I'm sorry, we have a Red Max 30 inch long hedge trimmer. Okay, and then we also have a still HS45 that she purchased. Um, we're not gonna use them in this video. You can go on YouTube and see a ton of videos. This is more highlighting the homeowner spectrum. And even if you're a professional, you're, you're not trimming bushes all year round per se. There's a short amount of period and a short amount of time to do that, unless you take over a new property that's overgrown. But for the most part, we're gonna, we'll bust out the Red Max, we'll bust out the Husk of uh, the Still. And I'm gonna have her take a look at it and see what she feels, what, what's more comfortable for her, what's heavier, what's lighter. Remember, this, this, this video is for us. Mm -hmm. The homeowners, but we could be professionals too. All right. I also have um, the oh, get off the knee, Miss Long. Even though they're trimming their bushes. <laughs> I do have the pole vault battery pack leaf blower as well that I yep. use for the yep. back deck. Um, very lightweight. It's perfect because we spend a lot of our time out on the back deck in the summer months. Um, it's light. It does a quick little cleanup. 
um, this is a nice little add-on, I feel, um, especially for... Is it getting... Because you just used it. Is it. Does it feel hot? No, it doesn't no? feel so, warm at all. No hot to the touch? I don't feel as if... Um, even when I was using it, I don't feel as if... Um, you know, I wear protective gear across my eyes. I'm a contacts wearer, so I... And I also have seasonal allergies, so I was just trying to protect my eyes, to be quite honest with you, from all that. Um, but... I didn't feel at any point nervous about the blade. Okay. Didn't um, jerk, didn't kick back. Didn't jerk, didn't kick back. Um, and I also feel because it is so lightweight mm -hmm. that I had complete control um, over the machine. That's very important. Um, and what's so nice about it is that it's such an easy release that if I did feel nervous at any point... It's no, we never thought about that. that. Squeeze the trigger and let it go. Let's see if it stops instantly. Just squeeze it and let it go. Let's see. Squeeze it. And let it go. Okay, so it doesn't stop instantly. It's a very slow process, but still, nonetheless, it's not running away, per se. So, did you feel as when you were cutting a bush, did you feel like it struggled or, or tripped anything? It's like, this is a nice size branch. No. Did you feel it struggle or get caught up? And I'll be honest with you, whether this makes sense, per se, or not, I almost feel like the larger the, the cut was, the easier it came off. Okay. When it starts to get to a more precision cut, as like I was rounding corners, that's where I felt like I did need to go back a little mm -hmm. bit extra. But I'll be honest with you, I was more just trying to get the major cuts first because I do feel like now we can go back and we can see where we want to mm -hmm. do more precision cuts with it. Yeah. Um, do the big cuts first to go back and, and, and precision cut it from there. Yep, so this is year two really with the hedge easy. trimmer, right? So we just did one, well, well, I'm sorry, some of these we did already. We did these. This is your first time trimming a bush. How do you feel? Do you um, think this is something you, you could do on your own, per se, and you don't have to pay a professional to do it? Oh, you're you going to be corny. You know he's leading me. He's leading me into me saying yes, so that <laughs> he could make me take over his task. Um, quite honestly, I could definitely see having no issue using the machine. Yep. If you are in the market um, because you are looking to do this on your own, um, ladies, gentlemen, um, definitely recommend this piece of yep, equipment. Absolutely. And we are, as I'm sure the mister has mentioned, we're a gas powered household and this thing is great. Yep. Don't forget, this video is, is not sponsored at all. This is just our two year review. We've had this for, this is going on two years. And obviously look at these bushes. And this is the last one that she trimmed, you know, for someone who's, this is her first time trimming a bush, a phenomenal job, you know. A little bit here, a little bit there. I mean, even if you guys, you guys are probably better bush trimmers than me. They could need just a little bit of work. But in the end, to pay somebody per se, it's not necessary. You buy this, keep it going, and you get all the tools in the family, and you're good to go. So we'll put this back on time lapse. Am I going to finish the rest, or are you going to finish the rest? Why do I feel like you're looking for me to do this? Or do you just want to show? No, I'll do the rest. I'll do the rest. I'll trim. I'll, I'll do the bottom on that. Or wait, is this who did it better? No, no. This, there's no competition oh, in yard work. because there is no nope, competition. Nope, there is no competition in yard work. I like when she does things like this. <laughs> <laughs> it means less for me. But, no, so, so we'll Which finish. Which do you like better, guys? So you know what? So obviously she did it. Like I said, so let's check. Pop out the battery. Hit that button. Okay. Hold on. You just hit the... It's spring-loaded, so you just hold this. Okay. Oh, and it should come out, and it's not. Uh-oh, this is year two. What's the, what's the warranty on this? <laughs> there we, there go. we go. We must have missed. It wasn't catching. So here's the battery. And we are at, we are still at three. That's awesome. Slide this back in. Hit it. Clips. And we're there back we in business. Let's go. All right, time lapse, and we'll go from there. Guys, I'm not encouraging this, right? She's going for a third bush. And not encouraging this whatsoever at all. I know, listen, I, I'm successful. I have turned my dishwasher into a snowblower. And now, I have turned her into a bush master. Look at her go. So three bushes, right? Like I said, you just need to box this up a little bit, I think. Like I said, for her, not bad. Now think about it. If you're home at working, right, 
and your wife decides to trim the bushes, if you came home and all you had to do was just do trimming instead of doing all the heavy work, that's that's winner winner chicken dinner all day long. How you feeling? She's in the zone. How do you feel? Seriously. Anything you can do, I can do better. Yeah, okay, okay. Anything okay, you okay. can do, I can do better. Yeah, okay. If you find this video entertaining, smash that like button, subscribe to Pate's Performance. Catch us on the lives on Saturdays, 8 to 9 Eastern Time. That's in the morning, a.m. All right, then if, this is after this, then we'll go back to, uh, you know what, time -up. She took the helm. You did. How many? One, two. He did the rest of the back. About eight or nine. So she did about eight or nine. Wait, do you even have eight or nine? Are you sure you did eight or nine? One, two, three. You did three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. There's sixteen. Yes, sir. All right. So maybe you did. You're right. Because she did. Took it at the helm. So it's thank you, okay. Cobalt. We're not going to give you up still. So thank you, Cobalt, for turning my dishwasher into a Bushmaster. Thank you. So anyway, so here's the magic card. Obviously, we have to do some trimming, right? But the bulk of the workload is done. And you could see her. She was using some unconventional methods. And maybe I was too. But let's see how many battery, how much battery we have left. We have two bars. That is more than enough to trim this up. So I am going to trim this up. We'll do that off camera, no time lapse, and we will come back with our cobalt blower. We'll see. We'll see what we can do with that, and we'll go from there. Really appreciate it. So the bushes are done, and now it's time to clean up. Now usually we would go with our Husqvarna 560 BFS backpack blower, which we love. Like I said, our town just banned the use of gas-powered uh, leaf blowers for the spread of. Uh, this is Mrs. Pate's, this is not mine, even though I do use it from time to time to clean out the garage. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to start blowing the bushes onto our side of the yard so we could pick it up with the uh, lawn mower or even the leaf back. So I already started, and it's actually not so bad. And I just do this all over. And I use the new battery, per se, fully charged, and all of this is we're down to three bars. So this is a little bit of a, a little bit hungry, per se, So you're actually doing it a little bit longer. My only quell and qualm, even though it's not our lawn or yard, there's moss here. Oh, come over here. This is moss, and usually the Husqvarna will blow this right out. It's more of a courtesy to them. This will not, it's not blowing it out. But if you guys could see, putting everything over on the our side. Guys, we got the hot rod out. First fire up of the year. I ran this thing bone dry. 
So let's give this a go. A little bit of sea foam. A little bit extra because it's mine. And a little bit of fresh fuel. So, like I said, I'm having trouble getting what I need because of what's going on. Well, the whole purpose of today is I, I don't have the striping kit hooked up now, but I'm going to make a final pass with the striping kit. Main purpose is to get all these clippings up and out of the way. And as you guys can tell, my Time Master is modified mechanically, right, for performance and aesthetically for performance. So no striping kit. It does have electric start, but I never, I never bothered with it. But let's see how many pulls we got. This is an aftermarket carburetor too. It's only this is coming on year one on the carburetor. So I'll let her finish doing what she's got to do, and we'll be back. Okay, so we, we just got all finished up. Get everything. We took the goat out. Right? Even though we have to use a leaf, the battery-powered electric blower, we use the goat to suck everything up, and that's gas-powered. Guys are idiots with this freaking tannoid runs. So anyway, so back to this. Mrs. Pat Hazelford is here. You did a wonderful job with the bushes. She went back after the fact and she tried to put like a, a top on them. We still use the same battery. Okay. So we are at still two bars. So that is winner, winner, chicken dinner in our book. Now we have the still HS82T double tooth. Okay, and then a Red Max CHTZ 640L, and this is 30 inches. So, pick one up. Tell me what you feel. You use the cobalt all day, per se. Yep. That realistically, I did the majority of the hedges with. Okay. How does that feel? Um, in comparison to this, is still a that's still lot lighter. lighter. Okay. This is really not terrible, but you could definitely feel a little bit more weight by the handle. Now, if you pick that up, do you feel like that's balanced? Do you feel it's a little bit more balanced? No, do you I feel, feel like it's, it's heavier by the handle? Okay. I can see my muscle in this area okay. tiring out. Yep, faster. absolutely. Now, this one we already know. This is 30 inches long. How's that? <laughs> Taking a few and, breaks. And it and it has a trimmer guard on there too. Now, just for you know how to start these. Well, you know, I don't know if she can, but she knows how to. Give them a prime, give them a pull, and let's see what happens. So now, in all fairness, um, she doesn't do this. She could start a lawnmower. I can I can start other equipment. I have you have let me play with these before, but I've never After started I start. them on my own before. Demonstration purposes. Go ahead, so. try and start it. <laughs> right, go ahead. Start a gas one. Beautiful. <laughs> one eye. <laughs> no, okay. go ahead. Give it a give it a good. Okay. Yep. No, the primer's in the front bowl. The okay. primer's in the front. So the primer's in the front. Yep. Right there. Right in front. Prime for a good time, prime like Chris Moll's engine. Mm -hmm. Two, three, perfect. Now give it a pull. Okay. I'll even help you here. I'll stand. Oh! <laughs> That's not fair. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, good. Um, That's a still. I can tell you right now, I could imagine myself, if we're being honest, it petering out on me. 
okay. and having to restart. No, no just, um, it's a cold start. This thing runs pretty good. Fine. <laughs> right, go, ahead. go ahead, start the Red Max. I'll, I'll help you again. Okay. I'll start. Same thing, prime for a good time. The primer's in the back on this one. Yep. <laughs> yeah, let her rip. Oh my god! <laughs> we have to take the. That's cold. Hold on, it's gonna fly. Go ahead. Uh, it's cold, so it's. No, <laughs> you can't. <laughs> <laughs> the two method. It's cold, that's a cold, it's cold. So go ahead. <laughs> I don't know if I get those smooth lines on my hedges with this. Okay, give it a pull. Okay, yeah, squeeze the trigger. It's cold, but it's, it's down. Right here. It's cold. Go ahead, hold on. Go ahead, squeeze it. Go ahead, squeeze it. Uh-oh. Yeah. We talked about safety. <laughs> yeah. um, I have to be honest with you. We had that conversation about safety before. Yep. Um, there were plenty of times when I was working on the hedges before that you had to walk away for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. and, um, I would have no issue running this one completely okay. on my own with you not around. Fantastic. Like I said, um, it turned my, my dishwasher into a, a Bushmaster, so I'm very happy. I have no issue in the middle of the night running this. <laughs> for a mullet cut. Yeah, okay. Um, I just feel like this is a, a lot of machine. Yep, yep. That, that's um, strictly commercial without a doubt. You know, Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, that's a 24-inch blade. Um, as far as even the start, hands down, mm -hmm. it was an easy start. Um, and, and, we, and then if we're talking about even getting it going, it's a battery-packed charge. Yep, absolutely. Um, I'm not mixing anything. I'm not filling anything. Easy peasy, one, two, three, right? But if I know this is even a project I'm doing at home the next day, drop it in the battery-packed charge, pop it in the next day. Done. I agree. I know. agree. So, in the end, right? Come on. In the end, whether you choose the Cobalt series like we have, you could just look beyond the family, right? We looked beyond the family. At the time, two years ago, it was Ryobi or Cobalt. Cobalt had the better family for us. 40 volt series. What started with us is actually got a brand new Cobalt 40 volt weed whacker as a trade in over the winter that someone got as a Christmas gift and they felt guilty returning it. Then they also got a Ryobi one brand new. The reason why I didn't go with Ryobi at the time, they didn't have an articulating hedge trimmer that we use for our pearl hedges on the top. So we looked beyond the family and we chose the Cobalt series. So did you tell them that we go live every 8 a.m. Saturday morning till 9 a.m. Eastern time? We might have, but it never hurts to remind them. Okay. If you enjoyed the content you saw today. Absolutely. So that's right, guys. If you guys found this video helpful, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and guess what? I'll see you guys on the next episode of Pat Taste Performance. Later. Later. <laughs>